So another quick little animation that I've seen, uh, you see it on Animation Mentor and all, a lot of um, animation uh, instruction is kind of a follow through and overlapping action kind of exercise where we see a brick and it's got like some chains. It's almost like a wave, like a, the waving that you see. And so that's another good practice animation to try and do as well to get uh, that follow through and overlapping action. Um, so let's build, let's build that out. Um, so what we want to start with is we'll create a polygon primitive cube. And we'll, from this we will, let's just make it almost like a little, let's see. Actually, let's go, let's go in Z. So in Z. And so, uh, y, actually, let's, let's go in X. I don't think it really is going to matter, but uh, this will be a, a good example. So from here, I'm actually going to drag that up in Y, so translate Y. And from here, I'm going to create a polygon primitive sphere. And then I'm going to scale this guy. Uh, actually, I want to go select the middle box. And so it turns yellow. And now I can just middle mouse drag. And let's say 0.25. And so from here, I'm actually going to select that ball and say Control D, Control D, Control D. So we have four of them. Okay, so um, to do this, uh, so it's basically kind of even. Let's go and say Translate X. Let's go, uh, we'll go 1. And uh, this one will go to, oops, translate two and three. We'll say translate three. Okay, and then this, we'll probably put this at five. And so we have, so let's name these properly. So, Actually, I'm going to just, I'm going to make this four, actually. Well, no, actually, I want to make this 3.5. Then we'll make this one two. This one will be 0.5. And this one, we'll say minus 0.5, or minus 0.1. Minus one. Oops. Minus one. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. So select all of those, and we'll just translate them up in the Y position. And I'll turn on the grid just so we can see that. All right. So from here, uh, I do want this one to be, uh, actually we'll just call this ball 01. This one will be ball 02. This one will be, whoops, actually we want this one to be ball 01. This one's going to be ball 2. This one will be, let's see. So I want this guy to be one. So let's call this ball A, B, C. This one's going to be ball B. This is going to be ball A. And then the last one is going to be, you guessed it, ball D. Okay, so... 
Now, what I want to do is I want this one to be a child of this one. So I'm hit P. And then this one I want to be a child of this one. So P. Select this one. And this one to be a child of this one. So hit P. And then this one, we will make this a child of the block. And hit P. So it should look like this. P cube, ball A, ball B, ball C, ball D. So now when we select this, this is what we get. And A, right? Whoops. And we don't want that skewing like that. So I think the way to fix all these things is to actually go to uh, Modify, Freeze Transformations. And so now... Let me grab any of these. We're getting the rotations that we want. Okay. So, uh, this is going to be just a really simple test. Okay. So, from here, we'll just do, uh, we'll do this in say we'll do a second animation so we want this to be frame 30 this guy to be frame 30 so 30 frames a second want to make sure that we're turned to 30 frames a second and then we can change this to 30 this one as well so 1 to 30 okay so from here We'll start, say, minus 5. And we'll set a keyframe. Whoops. We'll set a keyframe on that. And we'll set a keyframe on 30, because we're coming back to it. And then 15, we will go positive 5 into X. Okay, so we're going boom, boom. So we're going... Like so. Okay, so this is just kind of a straight ahead. Uh, this is straight ahead animation. We're just going right to 15 and then to 30, okay? And so actually we probably want to actually slow in and out. So in the translate X, if we look at that. So if we set these tangents to be like so or actually I want to go so frame 15 I do want that to slow out okay so right here uh, this one so if I go to say frame 5 and I want to actually uh, favor this a little bit more. If you hold down I the uh, on your keyboard and then just click right on that frame, it's going to put a keyframe and then we can just drag that down. Okay. And so if we look at that now, it's like we slow out and then this one we want to slow as well coming back so if we select the curve, hit I on our keyboard, place that keyframe, and then you can hold down Shift and middle mouse drag, and that will actually slow that. So let's take a look and see what that's given us. There we go. So we can also do um, our in... Uh, our, our, off, our curves to actually pre and post infinity so we can see what they're actually doing so I can just kind of look at that and see actually we can just kind of bump that down a little bit actually let's grab the beginning and end and just kind of push that down a little bit. Okay. 
And then this one we can kind of push up a little bit. There we go. So we're just getting that nice, nice, easy, smooth, smooth animation there. Okay, so now that we have this, what we want to think about is on these ball positions. Okay, so if you select all four of them and rotate in Z, you get that kind of whipping tail motion, okay? And so what we want to think about is, okay, as we go to the right, we actually want the ball, we want those balls going to the, uh, so from this position, we're just going to think about, okay, so like in the middle, in the middle is probably going to be, let's say, um, so we have, we're imagining, so if we have, let's let's just set set our our basic keyframes where we know they're going to be. Okay, so frame one. So I'm just hitting S on all four of those balls, and then frame 15 I know is the opposite side. So I'm going to hit S, and then on frame 30 I'll hit S again. Okay, so I just know that the, these are going to be my my main keyframes and how I'm seeing these. Okay, so uh, for this is going to be an in between. So I'm going to actually just select the Z, and then I'm going to say rotate minus. Let's go minus 25. Okay, and then let's let's look and see what we got there. So we're coming, right? So once we get to this position, we're going to actually about frame, let's go frame 23 and we're going to rotate backwards in say 25. Okay, and then let's take a look and see what we're getting there. So you get that nice whip, whippy tail like action. And so one way we can go uh, about uh, tweaking that is going to our curves. Okay, so if you notice, we'll go to, uh, so f let's see. So since we rotated in Z, we can just make sure that our Z, and I'm actually going to select all four and go rotate Z, and then just hit F to frame, and then also turn on uh, pre-infinity and post-infinity cycle, and then select the first keyframe and the last keyframe and then I'm going to select the out tangent of the first keyframe and then the in, tan in tangent of the last keyframe and then from here I'm just gonna actually whoops actually that's not what I want I want the so first key last key both key, okay, so last and first and last key, and then I'm holding down shift, and I want the out or the out tangent of the first keyframe and the out tangent of the last. And then here I can make that adjustment by just making sure that that, and I'm actually just tweaking this too, just so I can see. So you get that nice whippy tail like. Okay, and we can actually, you can try and offset these as well. So to do that, the fast way to probably go about doing that is to, um, so if you select B, the ball B, and rotate Z. Um, so we didn't actually do, we just did, yep, we just did ball a, a so B we want to actually tweak these as well so select that so in and out tangent so select the first and last and the out tangents and just tweak those and then ball C to rotate Z so first and last keyframe out tangents and then pre and post infinity Let's tweak that curve, and then ball D, 
and then select your rotate Z and select the first last keyframe uh, post pre and post pre and post uh, cycling and then select that out tangent just put, connect that there we go so then all these right looks good okay so to basically check and see um, so ball a we actually don't need anything else other than rotate Z okay so what I'm going to do is just with all those selected I'm going to select uh, all the translates and then rotate X and Z and then all the scales to visibility and I'm going to say I'm going to right click on that and say break connections so now all I have are my rotate Z's on all my all my keyframes okay so now you can actually take so let's say one two three and just so we have B C and D okay so right now we can actually uh, just move this one frame over just hold down W and just let's see select we if you just drag on the actual curve not on the actual key fr frame just the curve it'll select the whole curve and then from here if you hold down W you can just shift one frame and then say you deselect uh, ball B and just select those curves and this we're just offsetting by one frame just to see what we get so you see how it actually just makes it a little bit more wavy so um, secondary and uh, follow through overlapping secondary action is um, this is basically more about follow through and overlapping so this is a good test to actually learn about that and so if you select all four balls again <clears throat> you can see how so we're just offsetting those keyframes so if I all so you can see right and with with uh, pre and post infinity turned on you can see that um, and play around with this just to see like what what if I what if I just grab these ones and I move them even more so you know if I hold down W and just move them you can see that it's just kind of a different wave right there if I move it closer what do I get I get a little bit more right so you can actually and kind of see and play with that see how see what kind of waves you can actually you can actually do right you get this one doesn't look right but that's what actually playing around with this get this is how you get that wavy wavy look so all right have fun with doing that test it's, it's a it's another fun one and pretty easy to make um, we don't need uh, really uh, this is really easy to make inside any software really um, Maya just happens to be one of my favorites uh, favorite softwares to use for animation just because of the graph editor and uh, the ease of use inside Maya so uh, again we will just save this um, so this one, we'll just call this uh, follow, follow through overlapping example. And save that, and we'll call that one good. All right, see you on the next, next lesson.